Hi, it's Gary. Welcome to today's video. Fountain Pen Showdown Day. I thought we'd take a look at some of the smaller gold nibbed offerings from a couple of Japanese companies. So we're going to take a look at the Pilot E95S and put that up against the Sailor Pro Gear Slim. You know, even here you can see very similar in terms of size. Join me now down on the table. We'll take a look at the pens, walk through the bodies, do some size comparisons, some weights and measures, a writing sample, then I'll give you my thoughts and some scores for these pens. Welcome down to the table. So here we've got today's pens. We've got the Pilot E95S and the Sailor Pro Gear Slim. This Sailor Pro Gear Slim, that's blue green nebula two very attractive pens they're both very small maybe you might not say they're exactly pocket size but that's how i use them i do like this blue green nebula i'm gonna lift this up just so you can see here the material you see there's some silver flecks that are like stars so this is where it's getting that nebula name from i think let's take a walk through the bodies so we start with the E95S. We've got a flat top and that comes down. We've got a little bit of a of the body. Then we've got this gold colored ring to which is attached the clip. The clip, I really struggle with this. Very, very stiff. The body is tapering out very sharply. It seems to be tapering out until it gets to about here. This is where I can feel a change in direction. So that's what more than three quarters of the way down, maybe 80% of the way down. Then it seems to go straight. We've then got the letter E, which is lined up nicely with the clip. And then around the back, we've got Pilot Japan. This is cold champagne, this color. The clip itself, quite faceted. So we've got a nice facet coming up here. We've got facets on the side as it comes down. It widens out as it comes down. The bottom there, we've got the word Pilot. There's a little bit of a drop off. I'm looking for it, that's why I'm feeling it. Down to this body, very short body. With the Sailor Pro Gear Slim. At the top, again, feels flat. We've got there the Sailor logo. We come down then, got a little bit of that green acrylic. Again, a gold colored ring to which is attached the clip. The clip this time, this one is springy. The cap, tapering out, I would say till nearly the bottom there of the clip, then we go straight. At the bottom, we've got a narrow band. Below that, we've got a wider band. In here, we've got some writing. On that band, I've just had to have a closer look. Let me see if I can get where it starts. We've got here Sailor Japan, founded 1911. Then we've got the Sailor logo there. I, I quite like it, nice and simple. Below that band, we then taper down quite sharply till we hit the, the body. Body, same width to about three quarters of the way down. Then we start to taper in. We've got a gold colored band and then we've got this end finial. The cap on this really comes down, then it's the same width. So it's a fairly standard plain look in there with that. Let's take the caps off. This is where we start to see a difference. The cap on the pilot pulls off reveals a very long section under the nib. On the sailor, it comes off in half, one, one and a half, about two turns to reveal that sailor nib and a fairly short section. So looking at these side by side, the pilot nib, it's an inlaid nib, very nice. So we've got one, four, five, we've got, so we've got 14K, 585, pilot, medium, Japan. Below that, the numbers, they indicate where it's made and when it was made. With the sailor nib, I do actually prefer the look of the sailor nib. I think it looks more visually interesting. So it's an, again, it's a 14 karat gold nib. So on here, we've got a decorative border. Below the breather hole, we've got 1911, when sailor was founded. We've got the sailor logo, 14K, 585. And then again, we've got sailor. Two very nice nibs. I say, out of preference, I personally prefer the sailor nib. Taken off the bodies, so the body, on the pilot, very small. That reveals here, I've got a convert a uh, cartridge in there. I was going to say converter. It does come with a converter. With the sailor, 
there we can see that again the converter. I use the cartridge in this. I fill the cartridge with a blunt nose syringe with whatever ink I want. Purely because the converter that came with this pilot, it's a Con 40. And when you've got it in, because of the depth of the body, you would only see the mechanism to twist the converter. You couldn't see the ink level. I like to be able to see my ink levels. That's why I find it just as convenient just to fill up a cartridge and use that. And as you can see with the sailor, I use the converter with that. Let's swap on over and we'll do some size comparisons. I brought in my standard comparisons. So we've got a Pilot Metropolitan and we've got a Lamy Safari. As you see, today's pens shorter than both of them. But remember, as I said at the start, these are not essentially pocket pens, but they are pocket sized pens. Let's take a look with these, how I would write with them. As I said, this is actually how I would write with the pens. I write with both of these posted. So we've got here a lot longer now, aren't we, with that E95S, nice length. And even with that Sailor Pro Gear Slim, longer than what we're seeing with the other two. In the hand, beautiful, nice length, very, very comfortable. This isn't a heavy pen. We'll see when we come to the weights and measures. The section, yes, I do find a little bit thin. Unposted, this is why I use it posted. Maybe for a word or two, but not for long writing sessions, but as soon as you post it, and this is how the pen is designed to be used. Absolutely beautiful. So that's the E95S. In the hand with the Pro Gear Slim. This pen does feel heavier. Again, we'll see in the weights and measures. Posted, very nice, nice length. Again, does feel a little bit on the slim side. It's the slim model. What do you expect? Unposted, yes, it is longer than what we were seeing with the E95S. I'll show them both unposted in a second. I can again get away with this maybe for a sentence, but for anything more than that, I need to post it. Posted doesn't really add much to the back of weight. It doesn't make it feel like it's going to tip over. Again, it's very nice. And as I said, let me just pop caps off both of these so you can see them both unposted. Unposted. Although they look slightly different in the hand, they are more or less the same length. Maybe the E95S, two or three millimetres shorter. Let's swap it over and fetch in some pens that are in roughly the same price range. The pens I've brought in. Pelican M205, another short pen that I need to use posted, 199 Aussie dollars. The Pilot E95S, 195 Aussie dollars. The Sailor Pro Gear Slim, 320 Aussie dollars and I've also brought in a Pilot Custom Heritage 92 335 Aussie dollars. The Pelican is a steel nib the other three are 14 karat gold nibs. I'm showing them all posted here because I do need to use these all posted. Let's take the caps off and actually look at them unposted. Here we are unposted the two pens I brought in definitely longer I can get away with using them on post. I just find it more comfortable to have them posted. Let's pop the caps on. With the cap on, the Pilot Custom Heritage 92 by far the longest. The other three, very much of a muchness. Yes, the E95S, as we've already seen, a little bit shorter, but not that much. Let's swap them over. We'll do some weights and measures. Here we've got the rule of measuring. We're starting with the E95S. So with a cap on, 11.8 centimetres. Unposted, 10.5 centimetres. Posted, 14.7 centimetres. The width of the body at its widest part, which was just here, that's 1.2 centimetres. The cap, 1.27 centimetres. The section, goes from about here, just above the nib is where I measured it, 0.95 centimetres, up to 1.15 centimetres. So I said, fairly thin feeling. Just line this up again, I managed to knock it with my clumsy hands. With a Sailor Pro Gear Slim, 12.4 centimetres. With a cap off, 11 centimetres. Posted, 14.3 centimetres. The body, Widest part, 1.2, so same as that pilot. And then the cap, 1.5, so the cap a lot wider. The section, 
goes from 0.9 up to 1.1. So roughly the same width as what we see with a pilot. But strangely enough, this does feel wider in the hand, which is weird, isn't it? Let's swap on over and fetch in the scales of weighing. Here we've got the scales of weighing. So again, starting with a pilot, the full pen, 15 grams, quite light. Remember, there is a little bit of ink in here. The body, 10 grams, and the cap, 5 grams. The Sailor Pro Gear Slim, full pen, 20 grams, so 5 grams more. That's what a third of the weight more. You can tell that when you hold the two. The body, 13 grams, and the cap, 7 grams. Neither of these pens are exceptionally heavy. Let's swap on over and we'll fetch in the notepad of testing. Just dropping in to interrupt your regular programming. Would you like to help support the channel? If so, please consider joining as a member. As a member, you'll get early access to my videos. I normally upload them a couple of days before they go out, and as soon as they're uploaded, they'll be released to members. There'll also be a shout out at the end of the videos, and then as we get the members coming in, we'll actually chat among ourselves and work out what other perks, what other things you'd like me to add in. You know, would you like maybe a monthly live chat just for members? All down to us. So please, if you can, consider joining the channel. A link will be in the description down below. Here's the notepad of testing. This is our used paper. It's an A4 notebook. That's why I'm using the bottom part of a previously used page. This is 100 GSM paper. It's slightly cream and it's got a nice little bit of texture to it. I do find it's also very fountain pen friendly. So the first pen is the Pilot E95S. So let's write with this. As you see, it's posted. So we've got here a Pilot E95S. This is medium and it's 14 14, not, not 1K, 14 karat gold. The price, 195 Aussie dollars. The ink by Lamy. It's part of their crystal series. And it's Topaz. I know it's a burgundy colour pen and I've got a brown ink, but it works so well together. Drying times. So here's immediate. 10 seconds. Thirty seconds. Still mudging, still mudging, still smudging even a little tiny bit. Let's do a one minute test. There we are, nice and dry. Line variation, just post this so here's no pressure. Here's with some pressure. So you can get a slightly wider line. Personally, I worry about putting too much pressure on it in case I spring the nib. The line across is quite nice as well. Then we've got no pressure with, none with, none and with. Going to move the mic down to the page and write a sentence. I love writing with this pen. It's very, very nice. Not a lot of tactile feedback though, so I don't feel much coming through my fingers, but I can hear it when I'm writing. Remember, we do have a little bit of texture on this page as well. My flow test, and this is where I was saying I can actually use it unposted. It's just not comfortable. But the ink flow keeps up really well. I'll be honest with you, 80% of the time I've got this pen inked up, it's always there with ink in it. So that's the Pilot E95S. Move the page up ever so slightly. Now we've got the Sailor Pro Gear Slim. Go I say Blue Green Nebula. Another one, I do need to use it posted. So we've got here a Sailor Pro Gear Slim. This is a broad 14 carat, 14K, 
AU and price wise 320 Aussie dollars that's to buy it now when I bought this about 18 months ago it was 224 Aussie dollars big reason for the price jump exchange rates I bought this from the UK I live in Australia so the exchange rate from British pounds to Australian dollars has really tanked so anything from the UK now is a lot more expensive the ink this is diamine aurora borealis i love this ink in this pen this is the ink that's used mainly in this pen i do occasionally put robert oster tranquility in it i need to experiment though and i think i need to try some different inks in here drying times here's immediate try and remember to use a clean finger 10 seconds 30 seconds Thirty seconds that one's dry line variation so here's no pressure here's with some pressure so again we do see a slightly wider line not much of a difference though again I worry about putting too much pressure on this line across there so none with none with none with Let's move the mic and write the sentence. I absolutely love writing with this nib. It's beautiful. There's gorgeous feedback to it, both audible and tactile. I can get a nice little buzz as I'm writing away with this. And the sound it makes is so nice. It is, I will be honest, one of my favourite nibs. Flow test. Let's do this one up. There we go. So writing with this unposted, as you can see, it keeps up quite nicely. And it's, it's a little bit more comfortable than writing unposted with the other pen. So that's a Sailor Pro Gear Slim. So what are my thoughts and my scores for these pens? So these pens, they're not for everybody. These are pocket sized or getting towards pocket sized pens. They are not the large pens that most people are used to. You have to be aware of that because obviously it impacts how you're using it. Let's start though with pen looks. So pen looks for both of these, I love them. I think they're both very, very different. They both look different and they're both very attractive. I like the simplicity here with the E95S. I like the lines, the whole shape. It's just elegant. With the Sailor, I love this material. I love the color of it. When I was looking for a pen, the only reason I got this was because of the color. I wasn't particularly looking for a Sailor pen. I just saw this. I saw the name. I like to buy pens sometimes based on the name. I will be honest. But this one just grabbed me, and that's why I bought this. Both very, very attractive pens. I'm going to give them both a 9 out of 10. Build quality, well, as you expect from Japanese pens, absolutely no issues. Very solid, very well built. They're just right perfect. Although not to do so much with the build quality, I will not use shimmer inks in the E95S because with this embedded nib, don't think I'll be able to take the nib out to give it a really good deep clean. So, personal choice, I don't use them. I've got to be honest, I don't use them in the sailor either, but I think that one would be easier to clean if I needed to. But for build quality, 8 out of 10, a good standard score. Writing experience, very nice, as we've seen. Both got nice audible feedback. I get more tap towners though with the sailor. With the E95S, I need to refill a cartridge rather than using a converter. Not a big issue, you know, it only takes me a couple of seconds to refill the cartridge. Just use a blunt nose syringe. If anything, sometimes it's easier than having to fill up an ink miser if I'm using a sample, which is what I've got in here at the moment. For writing experience, 8 out of 10 for the pilot, but for the sailor, because of that beautiful feedback and the just the way the nib is, 9 out of 10. 
ink flow. As we can see here, no issues with ink flow. The pen's right, the pen's right well. Looking at this, the E95S is a slightly wetter pen. I've noticed that with every ink that I've had in here, it is a slightly wetter writer. Ink flow though, are very nice. They're both predictable. They're both being used with various inks. I say I do avoid shimmer inks purely because I don't want to worry about having to try and clean the pens out and deep clean them to get rid of any shimmer particles. Both of them, eight out of 10. Comfort, unposted, both of these not very comfortable at all, but posted, both very, very nice. And I'm just showing the one here. Both of them feel thin. The section on here really makes this E95S feel very thin to use. And even though we've seen empirically that the section is slightly thinner on the Sailor, it doesn't feel it, it actually feels a bit wider. Still, I do find a little bit on the thin side for me. But comfort wise, you know, using them as they're intended, using them posted, very nice, both eight out of 10. Value for money, isn't this, this a very interesting one? Both 14 karat gold nibs, both nice pens, both Japanese pens. I judge the value for money. I try and judge that against what the actual pen is, not against what the other pen is. So I say both of them aimed at that smaller market. Both of them really, I think, aimed at people with smaller hands, but I have fairly large hands, so I don't worry too much about that. They're both very smart, very good looking pens. The Sailor, I think it's worth paying that extra for this beautiful material. I also think that the way the nib works, where the nib feels is worth more as well. So for both of them, I'm going to give them 8 out of 10 for value for money, which means the total score for the Pilot E95S with Lamy Crystal Topaz is 8.17 out of 10. And for the Sailor Pro Gear Slim with Diamine Aurora Borealis is 8.33 out of 10. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. I like both these pens. I really do like writing with them. The nibs, when I'm writing, do feel quite different. Have you got these pens or these models of pens? What are your thoughts on them? Have you tried comparing them in the past? Please drop your comments down below. Let's kickstart the conversation. Please hit the thumbs up button every time you like, every time you comment, just helps with the YouTube algorithm. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel so that you can get new videos as I release them. I'll talk to you again soon.